Hey there garden fans and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. It's my goal this year to continue to bring to you family friendly garden programming in B plus C minus rated video quality. I know I'm not the funniest guy out there. I don't have the rap skills like David the Good and I certainly don't have the imagination and tools like Silhoué over at Suburban Homestead. But what I do have is a really cool garden back here and I want to share it with you all today. Uh, just kind of get you up to speed as to what I've been doing. Uh, I'm a little ashamed right now. I've been growing stuff in this greenhouse over here and I haven't told you about it. So today is the day I come clean. I'm going to show you what I'm growing in all my greenhouses. So it's sometime back in October the 25th when I set this greenhouse up I began to be real inspired by Dan over at Plant Abundance and his experience with a companion planting that he had of cardoon, clover, and fava beans. Now he's in zone 9 and I'm in zone 8. With this greenhouse set up I basically have a zone 9 environment so based off of his motivational experience I decided to give these plants a try. I've never planted cardoon or fava beans before, so I wanted to show you how this companion planting progressed. I did soak my fava beans overnight in water to help aid germination. I put them about an inch deep into this soil that I had remediated a little bit. And seven days later, we already had growth. This was December the 2nd. 21 days later, on December the 18th, I believe, we started to really get some perkage of the cardoon. It was getting established and the fava beans were looking really good, putting on true leaves. On December the 30th, sometime after Christmas, we had come back from vacation and found that this cardoon had really gotten itself established and put on some new growth. The fava beans also put on some new growth and we had true leaves on our clover. So I went out there today, January the 14th, and we had a frost since that last December night, and everything still seems to be doing pretty good. A couple of these leaves have died on the cardoon, but the fava beans have been quite impressive. I have no experience with these beans. They call them broad beans in Europe, but I really like this companion planting. It gives me a nitrogen fixation, it gives me pollination, and food crops. So I've got this awesome companion planting here. It's done well in zone eight in a greenhouse. And keep in touch, we'll see how it progresses. I wanna end just by showing you what else we got growing in here. I've got some artichokes growing. These are regular globe artichokes. And I started some sea berry again from seed this year, also back in about December. And of course, I've got a cold frame set up with some salad greens perking up and we've got parsley, more broad beans, fava beans, and we got some marigolds as companion plants coming in. If you're interested in any of these plants, please subscribe. Watch the progress of this little food forest as we go about the year. We appreciate you watching. Keep in touch for more. God bless. Look at your food, honey. Yeah. What's that? A fava bean? It's the magic beans, honey. Oh, the magic beans. Yeah, those are the magic beans that are going to save the farm. What's back there? What's back where? Um, that. Mm -hmm. That's your artichokes, remember? Mm-hmm. And then that stuff's your uh, parsley. Parsley, yeah.